Hello everybody, welcome to Grace Bear Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. We're going to do us another one here from uh, Single Cup Beer Smiths. These guys are up in New York. Uh, Rico sends me these beers from these guys up there and uh, I really enjoy them. I appreciate him picking these up from these guys and sending them down here because I can't get them here. And these guys make some really tasty stuff, guys. They really, really do. Especially in the IPA and double IPA uh, and the dry, double dry hopped uh, versions. Uh, nice juice bombs, if you will. And they do something a little different a lot of times. Like yesterday's beer had a lot of melon uh, characteristics to the beer. So uh, this is a, uh, a double imperial. Uh, this thing comes in at 8%. Uh, but these double dry hop beers are really, really tasty, guys. You get that extra hop uh, flavor and profile. Uh, and this is a huge IBU beer. Yesterday's was a 7% at 110. This is a, uh, it says 8%. Let's see what the can says. Double dry hopped. Uh, it says 8% on the can here. Untapped has it at 8.2%. So evidently they've done a couple different variations of this. But this one says 8%, 124 IBUs. Uh, and the can don date uh, is on the bottom. And Rico sent me a note with this one. So I don't have to strain my eyes to read some of this stuff. And he writes, uh, Single Cut Beer Smith's Double Dry Hop. Workers are going home. That's the name of this beer. 8% double IPA, 124 IBUs. He bought it last week and it was five and a quarter for this 16 ounce can. Also sold in four packs. And he tells me this one was canned on December the 27th of 2017. And today is the 14th of January. So only a couple of weeks old here, guys. So it should still be very, very tasty. Uh, I don't have a commercial description here on untapped. Uh, so we're going to jump right into it uh, without further ado. So let me get this can down here and get the top popped and start pouring this into the glass. And while I pour this, I'll tell you guys, cuisine is barbecue, cheese and pepper, Monterey pepper, jack, sharp, blue cheddar, stronger cheeses, meat, game, grilled meat, and salmon, glassware, snifter, tulip, oversized wine glass. And of course, they can tell you since it's 8%, it can be cellar. Don't cellar these beers, guys. Don't sell your IPAs or your double IPAs, especially double dry hops. You're losing all of that that they put into the beer. Uh, it's just not a, don't do it. Just take my word for it, don't do it. Didn't pour very much of a head on that one. This one looks a little closer to orange juice than yesterday, but it's still an unfiltered beer. It looks very much like a juice bomb. It's not that bright orange juice color like a lot of them do. Uh, it's kind of diluted orange color. But still a very nice, rich amber color. Good looking beer. To the nose we go. Now this one smells a little bit sweeter. But I am getting a lot of the same characteristics. I'm getting the oranges and uh, tropical fruit notes. Hints of some grapefruit or pineapple. And I am getting some melon on this one. Maybe some papaya or kiwi. Smells very good. Let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, Rico. Cheers, everybody. Now, this one being an 8%, even though it's 
124 IBUs as opposed to yesterday's 110. It doesn't seem to be as bitter to me because it's more more malt in the, in the producing of this 8 percenter as opposed to a 12 out of 12, a 7 percenter. It's, to me, it's a little bit more balanced than yesterday's was. Very, very pleasant. Right now, I'm giving this a, 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 I'm leaning more toward this being a little bit tastier than yesterday's was. It was a little heavier on the, on the IBUs. A lot of similar tastes though. Definitely getting the melon in this one like I did yesterday, but not quite as strong bitterness even though the IBUs are stronger. Uh, more alcohol, more malt to produce an, an 8 percenter as opposed to a 7 percenter. So it balances out a little bit better on this 8 percenter than it did on the 7 percenter to me. This is my opinion though guys. So, let me get the back end of this in there, see if it changes anything as far as color or anything. Don't think it is, and it didn't. We're not getting a lot of settling in the beer when it's only been in the can two weeks. So, uh, well, let me sip on this. It's right out of the fridge. Let it warm up a little bit, let her taste it, and see what we end up with here. But right now, I'm liking this one a little bit better than I did yesterday's beer. So, let's find out here in a minute. Alright guys, I'm back. Got this little left here. Nice slicing is left on the glass. Uh, I think this one's a little more balanced than what we had yesterday from these guys. Uh, being an 8 percenter, uh, even though it has more IBUs, it, it balances out a little bit better with a bigger ABV and more malt used in producing it. Uh, still 124 is pretty high numbers for IBUs. That's almost to the triple range as far as I'm concerned, you know. But it all depends on where your palate is and what you, how much bitterness you like in your IPAs. Uh, with the amount of IPAs and double IPAs that I've had, if I would have probably tried this eight years ago, it would have probably been a little overpowering for my palate at that time. But now, not so much. Uh, so I do like these when it's when it's more balanced like this one was. I thought yesterday's was a little unbalanced with that much I've used on a single IPA. But this one, not so much. This one was a little bit more enjoyable to me. So, uh, very tasty. Like I said yesterday, I would buy these guys beers if I could get them here. I do appreciate Rico uh, sending them to me. Uh, they do make some very tasty stuff. Wonderful aroma on this one, guys. It really, really is. Well made beer. Final joke. Nice citrusy notes there. Hints of oranges, pine, pineapple. I am getting hints of that melon, mango, kiwi, papaya. Very nice. Very nice beer. Guys, to me, uh, I enjoyed this one a little bit more than yesterday's. I think this is a solid A beer, and that's where I'm going to put it. 95 in the scale for me, guys. Very nice. And I do appreciate, I said this yesterday, I do appreciate these guys. A lot of these guys that produce the New England style IPAs and double IPAs, they don't give us the IBUs. These guys do. They give us the ABV, they give us the IBUs, and they give us the canned on date on each package. So, Two thumbs up to those guys for doing that. Uh, a lot of them don't. So I do appreciate that, and that goes a long way in my book. I like those three pieces of information uh, on my IPAs and double IPAs. So I know what I'm getting and what to expect. So uh, let's run over to Beer Advocate. They say 4.35. That's their A- minus scale. I think it's a little bit better than that. Yeah. And I understand... Uh, those scales, guys. I and mean, then this is just my opinion. Uh, you may agree or disagree with me. I mean, it is, that is your depends on where your palate is and, and and what you like to drink and how much bitterness you like in your IPAs. I mean, I've had double IPAs that were in the seventy range in the IBUs, uh, and I've had them that have more IBUs than this. So it all depends on how well the beer is brewed and how well everything balances out uh, with the. Uh, 
the malt bill and the hops and, 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 and being double dry hopped uh, uh, adds a lot more hop character and profile to the beer. So uh, I love it. Very tasty beer. Last check in is untapped. They have it at 4.27. That's definitely in their A range also. Uh, so we're two out of three on the A's. Uh, I did enjoy this. This is very tasty. Uh, if you've had this one from uh, Single Cup Beer Smiths, this is their Workers Are Going Home Double Dry Hop version. So if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.